Hello everyone and welcome to our annual Senior Sending Ceremony. It's a little different this year, but it's an important part of our end of the year and celebration of the seniors, so we wanted to make sure that we did it again this year. It's been a tradition since 2004 and it's always one of our very favorite things. So we hope you enjoy it and congratulations to all of our seniors in the class of 2020. This very active young lady was instrumental in building up the Spartan volleyball team in her senior year. In addition to being captain of the volleyball team, she could be found participating in cross country, track and field, or dancing in the Spartan theater. All of this running around has earned Lake and Shook more than a few MVP awards. Lakin's fondest BW memory is being surrounded by her friends at senior retreat. She plans to attend the Gemological Institute of America to pursue a degree in gemology. This will further Lakin's career in her family's business. In 10 years, she can see herself living someplace warm with her family and pets by her side. Good luck, Lakin. We'll miss you and your warm, friendly smile. What are the qualities you would look for in a cybersecurity detective? Diligence, competence, and the ability to work behind the scenes. That perfectly describes Ethan Hoppert. Ethan has been willing to dig deep into discovering the skills necessary for the sports he loves and the career he desires. Soccer has been his love throughout high school and dedication has paid off for him. Whether his favorite memory of winning soccer states in his junior year or being selected as an M&T Bank Outstanding Soccer Player, Ethan has proven he has what it takes to be successful. His other activities include baseball, basketball, Spartan Theater, Burgundy Brigade, Four Square Club, and Yearbook Staff. Somehow he found time to also volunteer with the Dapper Dan, Children's Adaptive Sports League, and the YMCA coaching indoor soccer. We know Ethan will be successful next year at Allegheny College in the cybersecurity program. Best of luck, Ethan. This senior's favorite letters are W-R-X-S-T-I. No, it's not a secret code. It's the model of Caleb Ziegler's Subaru, which according to Car and Driver, delivers jaw-dropping acceleration. Maybe Caleb needed the turbo boost to keep up with soccer, homework, the farm, his lawn care business, and oh, that's right, the 18 college credits he earned through Potomac State College. Caleb was a leader in the maker space, setting up for science showcase, creating awesome underwater ROVs, and becoming an expert with a 3D printer, which apparently can produce cool parts for your sports car, or so I hear. Caleb is proud to have contributed to the soccer team's success. Next year, he'll study nursing at Potomac State, where he earned a Promise Scholarship. In the future, he sees himself in Texas with his beautiful wife, three children, and a fast car. Best of luck, Caleb, and please wear your seatbelt. If there is music at school, you will probably see this student singing or dancing. Mawator Nagosin's joyful spirit is contagious and inspiring. Mal came to our school at the end of 2018, and soon, he adopted us as part of his family. Mal played basketball on our varsity team and the burgundy team, displaying hard work and character. He also played soccer and the trumpet for the school band. Mal was a Christian role model for our school, sharing his faith and always willing to help others, especially the younger students who looked up to him. This young man is generous, compassionate, and a warm-spirited leader who will change the thinking for the better of any organization he joins. His hard work earned him a full scholarship to Jewel College. 
He will major in civil engineering and hopes to continue playing basketball professionally. Mal, we wish you the best. When a student builds a resume, which includes National Honor Society, Student Council, Leadership Allegheny, Soccer, and volunteers for the needy, and is our go-to when we need a student to represent Bishop Walsh School, you probably think, yawn, garden variety, goody, goody. Not so. Jordan Marini is the perfect mix of kindness and spunk. While she may be the first to offer compassion, she is not afraid to fervently argue her point in class or fiercely defend a classmate in need. Jordan loved her time working with her kindergarten friends and will attend Towson University this fall. In 10 years, she sees herself with a job she loves, a very attractive husband, four kids, and lots of cats. She would like to thank her teachers for sending her off to Towson, feeling prepared and excited. Jordan, the pleasure is all ours. Best of luck. There's nothing more nerve wracking than standing at the free throw line at an away game, waiting to shoot your thousandth point. But not for this seven time Cumberland Times News Student Athlete of the Month. Kara Bako has been setting the bar high her entire high school career. In addition to being captain of the cross country and tennis teams, she was also the founder of the pep band and Spartan Serve. Kara has always used her leadership skills to serve her school and community. Her academic excellence is second to none as she is an Archdiocese of Baltimore distinctive scholar. Next year, Kara will attend Gannon University in their three plus three direct admit doctor of physical therapy program. In the future, she would like to be a physical therapist for a college or professional team or work in a sports medicine clinic. We will miss your leadership here at Bishop Walsh and congratulations, Kara. Which senior was voted most likely to be carrying a can of Red Bull while wearing a vintage hoodie? It was India Hilliard, of course. But beyond her well-caffeinated persona and distinctive Oklahoma accent, India is a determined and spirited young woman. A member of the Art Honor Society and basketball, soccer, and cheerleading teams, India brought a sense of enthusiasm and fun to everything she did. India plans to attend Towson University this fall with the goal of working as a child psychologist. She would like to thank the entire Bishop Walsh community for welcoming her. It's because of everyone here that I know I made a great decision to move and attend Bishop Walsh. India's greatest contribution to Walsh, her friendly, kind nature with a real cool accent. Glad you joined us, India. According to Mark Twain, humor is mankind's greatest blessing. These are words to live by for Jason Rossi. He loves to make people laugh and he loves to share his sense of humor with his fellow students and his teachers. His sense of fun has kept us entertained through his years here at Bishop Walsh. One of his favorite memories was being part of the soccer team his junior year as the Spartans became state champions. He also played baseball throughout his high school years and recognizes that sports were a rewarding and important part of his BW experience. Jason's goal is to attend Allegheny College of Maryland, complete real estate school, and become a world-class real estate agent. 
because laughter is timeless, Jason Rossi's future life will be one filled with success, smiles, love, and laughter. Best of luck, Jason. It's said that nice guys finish last, but I've always liked what comedian Gary Shandling had to say on that subject. Nice guys finish first. If you don't know that, then you don't know where the finish line is. Sure, Tyler Dixon is a nice guy, but don't let that blind you to his determination and competitive drive, his commitment to making it to the finish line. A four-year standout on the soccer, basketball, and baseball teams, Tyler earned the Dapper Dan Club's Goalkeeper of the Year Award and the Rapplier Award. Off the field, Tyler was a member of the Spanish and Art Honor Societies, as well as serving as the president of the Student Council, a Eucharistic minister, and a volunteer at Catholic Heart Work Camp. Tyler's future plans include earning a degree in computer science, raising a family, and traveling the world. Good luck, Tyler Dixon. If I said, drives a fast car, which senior would you think of? What if I said, drives a fast car all the way from Salisbury, Pennsylvania? Well, obviously you'd know I was talking about Levi Kretschmann. Levi came to Walsh midway through his high school career, but quickly found his way on Haystack Mountain. When not careening through the mountains of rural Pennsylvania, Levi enjoys spending time with friends and, well, working on cars. Levi would like to thank the Bishop Walsh faculty for providing an excellent education and helping him prepare for college and the future. This future includes plans to attend Allegheny College in the fall and then Frostburg State with the goal of going into business for himself. Congratulations and good luck, Levi. Humorist Jaina Stanfield once said, I cannot do all the good the world needs, but the world needs all the good that I can do. For someone like Lydia Matthews, so dedicated to serving others, this isn't a quote so much as a mission statement. Lydia served as president of the National Honor Society, the vice president of the Spanish Honor Society, and student council vice president. The editor-in-chief of the yearbook, Lydia was also an active participant in Spartan Theater, campus ministry, and the Burgundy Brigade. Off campus, Lydia could be seen volunteering for the school lunchbox program and serving as a Eucharistic minister. Lydia's favorite memory of Bishop Walsh was getting to play with the pre-K every day during fifth period. Next year, Lydia will be at St. Francis University with the goal of becoming a physician's assistant and living on a farm with ducks. Best of luck, Lydia. Our next senior learned an important lesson during his final year of high school. A 10-point lead in the Super Bowl is not secure against Patrick Mahomes. And yes, while the Mahomes and the Chiefs defeated Brady Behringer's 49ers, Brady worked through the pain to have a great senior year. A member of the elite basketball team, Brady's favorite high school memories include traveling the country with his teammates and seeing new places. He has also worked as an instructor at Coach Preet's basketball camp and the Queen City Hoops Academy. Off the court, Brady is a member of the National Honor Society and served as a tutor. After graduation, Brady plans to attend Allegheny College with plans to transfer to Point Park University in Pittsburgh. 
Once there, Brady hopes to join the ROTC in preparation for a career in the Air Force or FBI. Congratulations, Brady. This student could always be found cheering on his fellow Spartans. Wilson Ramabu has brought a big smile, kindness, and positive energy to Bishop Walsh. After being injured in basketball during his junior year, Wilson established his role as the first male cheerleader for Bishop Walsh. Don't ask Mr. Watson how he felt about that. This past season, Wilson was selected as the elite team's most valuable player. Wilson is not sure what college he is attending yet, but he would like to study biology and play basketball. In 10 years, he sees himself as being either a dentist or a physical therapist, married and driving his kids to school in a Lamborghini. Wilson's energy, positive attitude, and intensity brought a welcome jolt to Haystack Mountain. Continue to dream big, Wilson. We wish you the best of luck. Which senior has his feet on the ground, but he dreams of outer space? Roland Moyland is known for being quick on his feet and fast as lightning. He even earned the honor of most outstanding runner on the cross country team. His athleticism is also noted on the soccer, track, and four square teams. Roland is fascinated with outer space and plans to study aerospace engineering next fall. He has been accepted to six prestigious colleges and offered generous scholarships from all of them. He plans to start at Potomac State and transfer to a larger campus after one year. Roland is known for his sense of humor and perseverance. He fondly remembers his class trip to DC and competing in states for cross country. His long-term goal is to work for NASA and improve space travel accessibility. Roland, we hope you will reach the star. As some great thinkers have been known to say, a sass a day keeps the basics away. While she may have seemed quiet, Eliza Grower's humor and smarts, and yes, occasional sass, are anything but basic. She's contributed academically and athletically as a member of the tennis team, Burgundy Brigade, and STEM club. Her favorite memory of Bishop Walsh is meeting her best friends. Teachers love Elisa's writing ability and her sharp vocabulary. Next year, she heads to Frostburg State, where she received a Regional Excellence Scholarship. In 10 years, she sees herself as a hard-working homeowner. And maybe, just maybe, she has mentioned her plans to marry rich and do a lot of shopping. Wherever life takes you, Elisa, we wish you all the best. This young man could always be found with a smile on his face. Dwayne Caroma was a great addition to Bishop Walsh this year. Playing basketball might be a strong point, but he will leave a lasting impression on us from the kindness he showed in everything he did. Dwayne will be attending and playing basketball at Iona College in New York next year. Dwayne was certainly a favorite of WCBC's Garrett Egan, the radio voice of the Spartans. Describing one dunk, Garrett said, Karoma made sure that slam was felt all the way in Berlin. We at Bishop Walsh will continue to feel your kindness and warmth. Congratulations, Dwayne, and good luck. Rise and shine. This senior was new to Bishop Walsh in the fall, new to Cumberland, Maryland. For some reason, he may have thought Western Maryland was in a later time zone. However, by 9.15, Dominguez Stevens was ready to bring his energy to the classroom, the hallways, 
and the cafeteria. Meng was never at a loss for words, and he was always quick with the jokes, a few too many sometimes at LaSalle Hall. On the basketball court, Meng was a force to be reckoned with, both under the hoop and beyond the three-point line. Watching Meng play, even for only one season, made you realize that Seton Hall was getting a player with great basketball ability. Next year, Dominguez will be a Seton Hall Pirate. Best of luck, Ming. Remember, New Jersey is in the same time zone. Who can rock a black turtleneck, gold chain, and fanny pack, as well as Dwayne Johnson in 1993? Olivia Cooper can. Among her various activities, such as swim instructor, dance and tennis teams, student council, burgundy brigade, and student paid selection committee, Olivia could occasionally be spotted salsa dancing at the burgundy ball and wiping away tears of laughter with the corners of her untucked shirt. Her favorite BW memory is of the eighth grade trip to Swallow Falls. Olivia is one of the top students of her class and she is an Archdiocese of Baltimore distinctive scholar. Olivia reminds us to, quote, appreciate every moment and the people around you. Thanks, Olivia. We have appreciated the time we've gotten to spend with you. Best of luck at Frostburg State and in your future world travels. Not many students would know what to do if you handed them a baby cow. However, our next student cares for not only one, but two calves four chicks, four ducklings, and two turkeys, all in a day's work. Lexi Apple is passionate about animals. During her time at Bishop Walsh, she has been a versatile athlete, as a four-year member and senior captain of the soccer team, a three-year member and junior year captain of the basketball team, a two-year track member, and one-year softball player. Lexi was also awarded the Bruce Widow Scholarship and she volunteers at the Western Maryland Food Bank. She plans to attend Potomac State College in the fall and study pre-veterinary medicine. She hopes to become a large animal veterinarian and maintain her own farm someday. As your next chapter begins, Lexi, it is evident that your pursuit of greener pastures will take you far. Best of luck, Lexi. Do you remember this year's haunted house put together by student council? Did you find yourself frightened and falling for the creepy and realistically gruesome appearances of some of the student actors? Well, one of our seniors, Elisa Yule, was responsible for many of the production's makeup creations. During her time at Bishop Walsh, Elisa has participated in Spartan Theater, the Burgundy Brigade, and she has been a member of the yearbook staff. She is a member of the Art Honor Society. She valued her time spent working on the school's 2019 production of Into the Woods. Elisa will be attending Frostburg State University this fall, and she hopes to become an art therapist. In 10 years, she hopes to be traveling the world. We hope you continue to share your artistic and creative talents wherever you go, Elisa. Good luck. With his perpetually cheerful disposition, this student is as quick with a smile as he is running a 5K. Ethan Hilgeman was a standout on the cross country team. As team captain his senior year, Ethan regularly finished in the top 10 at cross country meets. He was awarded Most Improved Runner his sophomore year and Most Valuable Runner his junior year. But his greatest contributions to the team, his classmates, and Bishop Walsh were his positive attitude and strong work ethic. Ethan was awarded the Vietnam Veterans of America Scholarship, and he plans to attend Allegheny College in the fall to study forestry. His career goal is to work in the forestry field as a park ranger or on a mountain rescue team. In 10 years, 
Ethan sees himself owning a nice home with his family and working in a job he loves. Good luck, Ethan. The biggest smile you will see on the campus of Bishop Walsh will be on the face of Hunter Latner every day of the year. Whether he is creeping people out in the haunted house, making a game-saving stop on the soccer field, leading the Burgundy Brigade in a chant, or delivering a presentation in the classroom, everything Hunter does, he does with a genuine joy and zeal that lifts up everyone around him. But behind all that, Hunter is a great young man who above all loves his family and those closest to him. He plans on taking his love of computers and engineering and turning them into a successful area of study at WVU next year. I know I speak for all of the BW community when I say we wish you the very best in all that you do, Hunter. Whether she's riding her horse in a show or strutting around school with a camera around her neck, Esther Foland is in the market for some real action shots for the yearbook. Esther was a member of the track team and was volleyball team captain. She was also equestrian team captain. Esther is a member of the National Honor Society, the Art Honor Society, and she earned the award for the most versatile player in volleyball. Her fondest memory is playing on the volleyball team with her friends. Esther received a merit scholarship and she will attend Frostburg State University in the fall, majoring in fine arts with a focus on photography and a minor in graphic design. In 10 years, Esther hopes to be married and living with her horses, cats, and maybe even a dog, working in the entertainment industry and using her art to make a change in the world. Good luck, Esther. A new country, a new language, a new school. This senior was asked to tag students from sixth grade to 12th in photographs for yearbook class. With his trademark smile and a small cheat sheet, Lucas De Jesus happily tagged photos. By doing so, it helped Lucas learn who all the students were and his English greatly improved. Lucas always has that friendly smile for everyone who crosses his path. In his four years of high school, Lucas was involved in karate, badminton, football, swimming, basketball, and more. One thing his classmates may not have known about him was that Lucas was a three-time champion in badminton. In 10 years, he sees himself having completed school and living in a beach city in Brazil. Lucas offers this advice to his fellow graduates. I just hope that you have faith and run with your goals. Good luck, Lucas. Whatever happens will happen is the simple philosophy held by Seth Higson. From the haunted house to being on the maintenance crew, Seth takes life as it comes. He manages to be involved in just about everything. Although soccer claimed much of his attention, Seth found time to act in Spartan Theater, be student council treasurer, yearbook editor, and a member of Leadership Allegheny Rising. In soccer, Seth was a captain and the penalty kick specialist. Seth is heading to Frostburg State University this fall to major in business education with an eye on managing a corporate business. His fondest memory is the time his class blew up a beaker resulting in a school evacuation drill. In 10 years, Seth hopes to be in a steady job, taking on life full steam ahead. Congratulations, Seth. Rev up those engines and good luck. Being a good person, helping others. Oh, and being a professional basketball player. That's what drives Eduardo Mendonca. Since he arrived at Bishop Walsh, Eduardo is focused on perfecting his basketball skills and making the most of his high school years. Off the court, he served as a member of the yearbook staff. 
Eduardo also earned honors and excelled in Spanish three. His most enjoyable BW memory was his first home basketball game. Eduardo has been accepted to several colleges and he plans to go to school in Florida and play basketball. In 10 years, he hopes to be playing in the NBA. After that, he hopes to start a successful business. We wish you much success, Eduardo, and look forward to hearing more about you in the coming years. An athlete, an AP scholar, a young man who's going places. That's Patrick Strite. From the moment he arrived at Bishop Walsh, Patrick has made his mark. As a member of the basketball team, he was voted most improved player and was featured twice as the Cumberland Times News Athlete of the Month. Patrick has been named an Archdiocesan Distinctive Scholar and he served as Vice President of the National Honor Society. In the classroom, he likes to engage in lively debates, especially in government and history classes. A member of the International Club, Campus Ministry, the Public Address Club, and the Foursquare Club, Patrick was also named to Maryland Boys State. He will attend Hampton Sydney College in Farmville, Virginia next year, and he plans to be a political commentator or lawyer. In 10 years, Patrick hopes to be hosting a commentary show on Fox News and running his own radio talk show. We wish you much success, Patrick. An experienced traveler who knows how to have fun inside and outside of school. Each year, the boys' soccer team welcomes him back home from abroad. The soccer team would not be the same without the skills of Taha Sadiq. Last year, Taha helped his team win the boys' state soccer title, and he also won the AMAC Tennis First Doubles Championship. He has been a strong participant in sports teams, Burgundy Brigade, and Spartan Theater Stage Crew. Taha's fondest memories are of prayer buddy activities and senior retreat. He hopes one day to be helping others as a doctor. We are happy that Taha will remain in Maryland and we wish him our best as he heads to Towson University this fall. Taha, we know you will go far and we hope you will always stay in touch with your family at Bishop Walsh. Quiet, reserved, calm, but very approachable. Those are the qualities you find in Bo Yang Lu. Extremely talented in music, Bo Yang shared that talent with us through pep band and also with the community at large through the Allegheny Community Symphony Orchestra and the Frostburg State University Honors Band. As an international student at Bishop Walsh, Bo Yang's fondest memory is learning and getting to know his classmates and teachers. Bo Yang wants to finish college in the U.S. and he plans to attend Penn State Harrisburg in the fall with the hopes of becoming a physical therapist. Congratulations to you, Bo Yang. We wish you good luck as you pursue your dreams. Who knows, you might be doing music therapy as well. If you are looking for this senior, you better have on your walking shoes. She might be on the soccer field, running the track, tutoring in the cafeteria, cheering on the sidelines, serving a volleyball, or dribbling down the court. Cheyenne Cromwell has made herself known during her four years at BW. She is always willing to help out, especially if it involves our younger students. Cheyenne plans to attend Hood College where she will double major in accounting and early childhood education. Cheyenne is a member of the Spanish and Art Honor Societies, Burgundy Brigade, and Campus Ministry. Even with all these activities, she still has time to take selfies, especially when the lighting is perfect. In 10 years, Cheyenne plans to have her own daycare. Good luck, Cheyenne. Hood is lucky to get you. We will miss you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bishop Walsh Class of 2020.